what's going on everybody welcome back and welcome to the beat majors.net um so i've been getting a lot of questions lately um just from producers um from our sample video basically on how to champ chop samples and things like that people are asking you know if you have a sample at a certain tempo or um you know if you're trying to fit a, a sample to a specific tempo um how do you achieve that um well you achieve that with something that's called uh time stretching time stretching is basically um, a unique way for you to be able to fit something on time or to fit something in a specific time frame, you know, whether it's a bar, two bars, three bars, four bars, whatever it is, you know, to fit that in that time frame into actually, um, you know, be on beat with whatever it is that you're trying to uh, do. So um, today I'm just kind of I'm going to show you guys a few different ways of how to achieve that, whether you're chopping it um, in the 16 pieces or 32 pieces or however you're chopping it. If you're chopping it into pieces, um, if you're looping something or, you know, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Usually if you're chopping it or if you're just trying to loop it. Um, I'm going to kind of show you guys how to uh, achieve that. So let's get into it. So first, basically. You want to find a sample and we already have a sample here. Um, we've not haven't done anything with it. This is just for demonstration purposes. Um, I just wanted to find a sample for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and play this sample so you can hear and we can um, find a loop at the same time. Somebody should freestyle to that. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, that's the elevator music right there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Silent. Okay, so a uh, pretty dope loop. Um, I kind of heard where I want to grab it up at, so I think it was. So, pretty nice loop there. Just gonna, I like to really get my, my chops like precise. I don't know what it is, but I like to really get the chops um, precise. And then, you know, if you chop really good and you, you know, your chops are really on point, it, you know, chops better. Your chops are just a lot smoother. All right, so we got our loop here that we want to, you know, pretty much use. So what I'm going to do is the first way I'm going to show you is one of the easiest ways that you should probably know. If you don't know, then now is the time to, to find out. So basically, we have this loop here and we're going to throw it on the playlist as if you're making a beat. This is where you build your clips and things like that. So right here, as you can see. We have it, it's already set at 140, but of course it's not gonna fit, so let's see what it sounds like. Uh, that's not right. So, we gotta fix that, because that's not right. So, how do you fix that? Well, one of the easiest ways that I've learned is in FL12, if you're using 12, I don't, I don't know if they do this in the previous versions, but 12 specifically, there's a stretch feature, feature here. Click the stretch, I like to turn the grid off to, to none so it's not snapping at all. And I can pretty much drag this freely. And you see how it's stretching the whole thing out? I can e evenly stretch it right to where it needs to be. Uh, I might have to zoom in and kind of get in there just to get it right on point. Yep, there we go. And how do we, how do we know if it's on point? If you pay attention up here in this uh, left corner, when all of it says zero, pretty much, boom, it's at 21, 20, boom, it's right on point to that. It's like the last of that bar. So now when we play it. Now 
Now, there's one thing that it does when that happens is you see how it slowed the sample down from its original, the, the pitch went down too. So there's a way to change that. You go here, once you bring up the channel settings for this, you click transient, and sometimes you may have to use generic. It just kind of depends. Um, basically, it's, it's just um, setting the transients back in the, in the proper places so that uh, it plays in the, the right pitch. So now when you stretch it, it'll stay in the same pitch, even though you're changing the time. But you hear it kind of, it sounds a little grainy. So you want to mess with the generic and the transient. That made it sound a little better, but you know, just just kind of you know mess with those. But that's just the way to do it when you're messing with the the playlist. If you're just looping something, that's a, that's a cool way to you know get it. Um, like I said, you just hit the stretch button, turn the grid to none, um, and then you can drag it. I'm gonna even put it up here and make it fast. Same pitch, just sped up, slower. Same pitch. Now. One thing, the one thing that everyone's been asking about is the FL Slicer. Um, how to, you know, uh, once you get a sample in here, how to, how do you stretch that same sample to, um, you know, uh, to fit your beat? Um, this one's a little bit trickier. Um, this is something you kind of have to continuously just play with until you get it right, and then until you understand the time stretching, time stretching times with this thing because it's it's it, it's kind of weird but anyway so we have our loop we're gonna drag it in the slicer and uh you know do your chops as you would and as you can see this is still not gonna fit with the the 140 that we have so what we're gonna do is we're gonna dump this here set this dump this to normal and Put it in the playlist. Okay. Now, as you can see, it's not right. So we gotta get it right. Well, we'll build off of that. We'll build it off of that. So you basically, with this one, we're gonna have to slow it down again. So it's set here at 94 BPM, um, but we want it to. We need it to be set for 140. So if we're gonna slow it down, we gotta go down some. And then up here you can see it changing. I'm um, also on this side too, you can kind of see the percentage and the timing. The right hand side shows you the time and then the left hand side shows you, shows you the percentage. And you can, you know, get in there. Oops, so down, sorry, down is to. So that's if we wanna get it to from 140 to fit to we're trying to get it to fit to 140. All right. So that's how you would do that. If you, you know, if you were, of course you wouldn't be on 140 with that, that slow loop. You know, you would want to do something like maybe 120, um, which is cool. 121, we're at 121. So we'll go back down to 121. And now you can actually hear that it's on time with whatever tempo that, you know, you want to use. Um, and the last way that I want to show you is using it as a actual sample um, on the step sequencer. So if you have this same loop, you put it here and we'll cut itself, put it on the piano roll right at C5 here. So we'll put it at C5, um, just for purposes. I, I just can't keep deal with it continuously playing because I'm just going to do that. But, um, yep, so you put it on the step sequencer. But that's not going to fit with the 121 that we're already on. So we, how do we get it to fit, right? So right here. Right here, we have the time button. Usually you can turn this knob up, you know, things like that. Um, you know, turn it up and down, but there's an easier way. You just right click. 
you can either hit project tempo you know you can stretch it to the project tempo so now that wasn't right so don't listen to that <laughs> uh, So now it is on time. It's kind of fast though, but you just change that to the transient. So now it's on time to whatever tempo you're using. You set it to four bars, which is a you know four bar loop. Set it to four bars, it'll stretch it to a four bar loop. Set it to two bars, it'll stretch it down to a two bar loop. So that's pretty much, you know, how you, you know, time stretch or get your samples on time to your specific tempo. So I know, like I said, a lot of people were saying, you know, how do if I have a tempo a sample in 84 BPM, how do I get it to match, you know, my 93 or my, you know, 110, things like that. So those are the specific ways to that you can achieve that um, that task. So I hope you guys got some value out of this. Please like subscribe, share tell everyone about it if they're looking for any tutorials on fl studio and how to mix their beats and things like that definitely send them our way um like i said hope you guys got some value and until next time peace